will be another good one. And I am also joined today by my co-host, Ness Rocker. How's it going? It's going great. Even better since the last time we spoke. Nice. Man, nice. What, a, what a race that was. Can you believe it? Right? Oh, it was so, so quick. All the great and now, moves. And now this matchup, Nanobite, great runner in her own right, has been putting on a lot of work practicing, refuses to do snake tag, which, honestly, big mood. <laughs> big mood indeed. I don't blame her. And then our other racer, what can you say except... He, uh, he he won the first ever uh, PK Scramble tournament. He's going to be a force to be reckoned with. It's going to oh, be a yeah. match. I forgot about that. Well, maybe he can chalk another one up. We'll find out. And we'll find out right now. Both of our racers are ready. I'm starting this thing. Let's do it. We've got about 15 seconds. I think uh, we need to start a poll in the chat for betting on the winner. That is true. This is a rematch from round one of the first tournament as well. They matched against each other. So it's kind of like a grudge match almost. Oh, yeah. There's nothing like a good old grudge match. All right. It looks like we're starting off in three here. We'll see who goes and gets the kid first. And it's really interesting, both these racers. Uh, this is something I cannot help but do. Whenever I start a random start seed, I, even if there's a kid check right there, I gotta open up my menu. I gotta see my, what my teleports are. And I don't think we saw that from either one of these racers. Yeah, absolutely. I actually, I tend to do that myself. And it's gonna be poo. Looks like we got a little poo action. And hopefully he'll have Rocket and maybe this will make for another exciting run. Looks like Pooh's got the UFO engine. And see, that would be interesting to check the teleports beforehand because they don't really know if that's going to be useful or not. Three Summers and Scaraba. Right. And, yep, so the UFO engine is moot. Nana looks like she's going to take a, a free ride. Yeah, um, and again, that's something, if you checked your teleports earlier, um, that's probably something you would want to avoid. And also, don't forget to remember your teleports so you don't pull what I did the other night. <laughs> I did see that <laughs> clip. We were talking on the commentary for your race. We were like, uh, did he, for I, I said, did he just forget? And Slug insisted, this is a strat. He knows exactly what he's doing. And you were right, because like, I got out of Saturn Valley so fast and just got into logic, and it, my mind started working like a machine. A machine that forgot Saturn Valley. Looks like Summers is the right direction. We got a couple of sharks. Yeah, and honestly, Nana's not that far behind. Uh, I don't think Jargles, uh did anything else in three that would have made a difference at least from what i could see yeah and having that fight they kind of well nano just got into another fight but they were they were right next to each other now here's an interesting play and i know they don't have a lot of money right now but some people will even if they do, not even check that shop there in Toto and go straight for the museum call. What, what are your thoughts about that? Um, I I actually learned that from watching vanilla speedruns. Um, so I'll keep that in mind. Somewhere like the shop this early might not have some good stuff or you just won't be able to afford it. Um, 
So in this case, I would have actually skipped it, but maybe if I was in a later logic, I might have would have checked the store for some good stuff. For sure. This early on, though, I mean, I respect going for the museum over the shop because there's just, you don't have any money. Yeah, absolutely. About to see what teleport we're going to get. It's going to be Delon. Not bad. Delon's going to be great for them. They're going to have a place they can heal up for free. And also, they've already got Boo. So that means Moo Train in time. Yep. And there is a Jeffrey on the throne there. That opens up not only another key item, but the boogie tent check back in three. Yeah. Let's go, Jeff. Let's go, Jeffrey. Jeff has a tiny ruby, so this is a little circuitous if they end up having to use that back in uh, summers. Right. And this still seems like a pretty close race. Yeah, I mean, they're, it's been such a straightforward logic, it's it's hard not to be. I think we're going to see some divergence here, though, whether it's going to be the Boogie Temp play um, or, you know, going back to Summers or even Moo Training might be a big moot on the, uh, the scale here. Yeah, and it seems both our runners are going to go. Ooh. Nana went to, oh, she's present checking. Loot grabbing. Counts finds finds a cool hundred and twenty nine dollars in that chest. And we have some people on chat talking about the satellite uplink and the rocket launcher. Oh um, yeah. Do you want to talk about the uh, the extended PSI shuffle, which all the matches in the night pendant cup are gonna have yes so the main theme of this tournament is moonside and the psi extended and what that does is it shuffles around the psi that all the kids can learn and adds a couple of new ones like psi rocket which is based off of the rocket launcher and psi bomb which is based off the bombs you can get um but also jeff's items have been rearranged or randomized as well and you can now get some of the psi abilities in the form of a bomb or bottle rocket yeah it's a really interesting flag set and as we're seeing on charging charles's side uh that moo teleport was winters and it's going to give zombie paper which <laughs> i don't know it could help but yeah at the moment it's going to be a little lackluster yeah, the the choice here to make is do you go back to three, get, do the tent, go to Saturn Valley, or... Well, if he doesn't have the pack of bubblegum, that's understandable. Yeah, but don't forget they picked up that tiny ruby as well with the Jeff pickup. So yeah. they could go back to Summers for that check. So it seems like they both went to go do the winner's check. And Charles is going for the zombie paper play. I think he just wants it out of his inventory. And, yeah. of course, trying out uh, Boogie Tin, he'll be prepared if that ends up being a jar of fly honey. Yeah. That's and, that's a good play. Ooh, that's not who you want to see. Oof. Big oofs. Let's see if this uh, nightmare was as cruel as the one uh, in the match uh, the other time. Oh, yeah. He does have that stellar drizzle, but it's not doing too much damage, thankfully. Mm. Yeah, he's getting low, though. And depending on all the PSI that he has, sometimes it might just be worth it to keep picking away at that shield till it's gone. And here we are seeing a divergent path. Nanobite is heading to Summers to turn in that tiny ruby. Really interesting. Indeed. Oh. 
Chargles might take a death here. That is not doing much damage. Ooh, yeah, that is. Oh, and he clutches it out. Great job, Chargles. Oh, I'm so excited for that fight. I missed what Nanobyte's item was. <laughs> Same. Chargles picking up a meteorite piece. He might have made the right choice there in the center valley. Although he's going to skip it. Meteorite piece was what Boogie Tent dropped. Okay. But uh, I didn't see what Nanobite got. It was Fly Honey. Thank you, uh, Zarchasm. The one and only other side and valley item. Yeah, and Chargles uh, kind of reading the logic here, in my opinion at least, uh, so far. Yeah. Reading it well, and heading to Summers right after that. I think he's uh, kind of counting on this, and his uh, foresight is going to pay off, I believe. Now here, uh, in the Yellow Woods, two paths diverge in front of you again. You've got Fly Honey, you've got Meteorite Piece. Do you make that quick pit, pit stop to Saturn Valley to see what it is? Or do you hit it on the way back from Belch Base? That is a very good point. Um, once again, it's just one of those in the moment. Like, um, like in my race the other day, I just passed up Saturn Valley altogether because of my f mind frame. I was just like, I don't need Saturn Valley. Or I don't need to go there. I can just... I was powerful enough to just charge right through and go to Belch Base. <clears throat> uh, I mean, I'm I don't want to be the one to to point this out, but uh, you did start in Saturn Valley in that <laughs> seed. <laughs> but I get where you're coming from. Yeah, in this one, you know, especially on Chargill's side, where he's got that extra XP from the from the uh, boogie tent, I'm heading straight for Belch Base. Yeah. You know, and if you're ever doubtful, you can go to Saturn Valley for that safety save. Yeah, and it's not even that. Uh, the teleport is going to pay dividends if you ev if you have the doubt that oh, maybe Belch Base is not the play here. Maybe the enemies are going to be a two bit strong. I don't have repel sandwiches. I don't know if I can make it all the way through. Head over to right. Saturn Valley. Even if you die, you can teleport back. Much much better than walking all the way from three to again. Yeah. And it seems our paths are meeting back up. Except for Nano has still not uh, defeated Boogie Tent, I believe. Oh, yeah. And sometimes it's hard to remember about Boogie Tent. You just, he's all the way down there, just chilling. Yeah, absolutely. It, it's, I think, in my mind, I have a little bit of a mental block um, that I have to try to overcome when I pick up Jeff is that you, you get other stuff for the other checks. Like for Poo with Moo training, that's just a free check. You get a teleport, you just spend a little time getting it. And then for Paula's check, Everdread, sometimes I do that even never getting Paula because the shop there in Berglum Park is so good. Absolutely, yeah. And uh, I'm not sure if we mentioned yet, but the... Uh, special flag set for this round uh, in the Night Pendant Cup is Generate Food. So that's going to take all the basic food from Earthbound and replace it with a little more esoteric uh, fare. And that includes um, Brain Food Lunches and Repel Sandwiches, which we haven't seen one yet, I don't believe. Do we know how many variations of the Repel Sandwich I've seen... I Dead. believe there are four, including the original. There are okay. regular repel sandwiches, which you have your repels and your repel DXs. Right. You have um, canned repellent, which you're going to be getting that uh, from what they call prepper type stores. So the guy right out of after set the three tunnel, he's considered a prepper. You know, some of the uh, arms dealers that have Jeff items, those they can be on them as well. I believe. Right. Um, 
You can also see uh, Durian, which is more of an Eastern Flare item uh, that is available in places like Scaraba and Delam. And you also have uh, Repel Burgers, which are going to be found in burger locations like, um, you know, the burger shops. Ah, yeah, and that's always good to keep in mind, especially when, for more casual players who are, you know, trying to get into speedrunning a bit, or just people who like to play casually. Absolutely. Yeah, it's a it's a very fun f flag set to uh, generate food. Uh, I, I highly recommend it. Adds a lot of variety, too, and the descriptions on some of those items are just great. I, yeah. I highly recommend. And for anybody who's played the PK Scramble and haven't explored much, I recommend going to look at item descriptions and even talking to the hitman, um, Jay Tomar, who was our contestant earlier, um, put a lot of work and effort into flavor text. Absolutely. And we're seeing another divergence here. Nanobite going for the heels, uh, which makes sense, yeah. uh, in Saturn Valley, and Charles heading straight for Belch Base. And with this, did they did they already have Tucson? No. Mm -mm. It's going to yeah. open up Tucson for them. And Forsyth, yeah. in fact. Yeah. So, the paths can be very divergent from here yeah, on. Yeah, this... The seed's going to break wide open. I'm excited to see uh, where it's going to lead. Yeah. It's exciting to watch, but not so exciting sometimes to do it. Because then you're like, where do I go? Yeah, and I'm glad we're going to see this teleport over on Nano's side. Because... Uh... Oh, maybe we're not. And my apologies, y'all. I forgot to mute myself when I was drinking my water. Uh, that's just a little bit of PK Scramble ASMR for you. You don't have to pay extra. As a treat. That's right, J. Tomar, keeping me straight in chat here. She doesn't have the meteorite piece yet. It's on tint. But we are going to see two teleports here from Targles, I have to imagine. And if I know PK Scramble logic, it's going to be Saturn Valley. But we'll find out here in a moment. We're probably also going to see that uh, meteorite piece turned in on Targles' side. And I have to imagine maybe even a Milky Well. Although even if it's not the regular enemies, which this is Progressive Enemies Shuffle flag is on. You have to uh, be careful with that cave because the enemy spawns are just out of control, even if it's not the natural ones. Teleport to Onet. That's even better. I think Unknown had to step away for a moment. Welcome back. Yeah, I was just saying um, that teleport on from the meteorite piece is Onet. So they've got Onet, they got Tucson, they got Dusty Dunes, they got Forsyth. They're spoiled for choice. Oh, yeah. Now they've got all the four base towns open. So much possibilities. It looks like Charles is going to be. Going to get that next teleport. And there is the Saturn Valley teleport. Fortunately for Nano, uh, <laughs> if she doesn't go get that boogie tent, she's not going to be punished too much. Yeah, so uh, it's working in her favor. It's always such a pain when you you get that teleport for towns you already have or the one that you're in. <laughs> Absolutely. Although, uh, you know, a lot, more often than not, those teleports are, are pretty helpful. It looks like Charging Charles is going to be hoofing it all the way to Tucson. 
it's pretty good. The bus there can you can take the bus there, but uh, it does have a long animation backing up into the station. So would it be faster to walk? I haven't done the math, uh, the egg math, as Slug would say, but uh, I think walking to Tucson and teleporting as soon as you breach that boundary is faster, at least in my opinion. Yeah, no, most definitely. Although Chargill seems to be taking a completely different route than what I expected. The, taking the scenic route. Gonna go visit some Apple Kid. Feeding Apple Kid some corn on the cob. Delicious. <laughs> I, I prefer my corn off the cob. How about you? I I actually uh, corn on the cob, and I'm not a fan of sweet corn. I I prefer my corn uh, savory. Oh, I see. Signed banana over on Chargill's side. That's going to be his second sink, I believe. Yeah, and here we have Nano going to get her first sink. Static Pulse in chat says the shortcut through the trees makes walking quite a bit quicker, I believe. I didn't know that. I guess if your goal is to get to Apple Kid, because, you know, if you're riding the bus, the bus goes past Apple Kid, and then you got to walk back. Oof. Chargill's taking a risk and fighting the Berglund Park boss. He was not kind. Those are some bad vibes. Get out of that neighborhood. Yep. Taking a wipe and starting back over. We have a very lively corn discussion in chat. <laughs> you know, sometimes just corn on the bone is just better. I guess so. Uh, we're seeing Chargles go for these uh, mice. Do you want to talk about the type of mice we have in this flag set? Oh, yeah. So in the Dr. Saturn's uh, flag set, we have um, return mice versus the vanilla exit mice, where whereas the exit mice just take you from a dungeon to the outskirts. The return mice work in the same sense of breadcrumbs from Mother 1, if anybody's ever played that. And essentially, you just stamp a spot and you can go back to that spot later. And Chargill's immediately marking that spot in front of the mouse house. I wonder if he remembers that they are lemon mice in this flag set. Oh. Are they? Because I... I believe so, yeah. Unless I'm misunderstanding the limit mice. Limit mice is that you can only get one mouse from each place once. Uh... Teacher Homer in chat saying, Marking doesn't use a mouse. I do realize that, but I'm not sure why you would want to come back to that spot if you couldn't get more mice. Uh, easy, easy teleports. Okay, fair enough. Because if you, if you go back to that spot, you can just bam, boom, teleport straight out. I don't know if you saw it, but Chargles has checked the ONET library, and it is Hawkeye. Let's hope you won't be using that one. Oh, yeah. We might not be having a... 32 minute seed here. Yeah, we're already this far in and we've gotten um, one sink completed and Charles has another one. I don't I didn't see if Nano got the signed banana. I don't believe she has yet. <laughs> Tomar says, oh yeah, nobody caught his sick moose e play last race. Mouse. Uh, I caught it, play. but I thought better than to comment on it. <laughs> I was, in fact, I, I was thinking to myself, did he just put a mouse right on top of the four-side teleport location? Okay.
Nano electing to take that bus to uh, Tucson. Yeah. Meanwhile, Charging Turgles is fighting the fiends of the arcade, Master Barf, and Captain Strong. He's uh, taking a vacay from the police station today. Yep. He decided to go take a trip to the barcade, arcade, and found a big pile of barf. I am <laughs> just now realizing that Charging Chargles has renamed all the kids in the wrong spot. I was wondering why it said Ness was using Rocket and it was <laughs> popping up. Oh, that's great. That's great. The classic switcheroo. And it looks like Charles is moving on to Captain Strong. Oh, yeah. With the kind of PSI that they've gotten here, you know, all you need to do is use heal on Ness. Paula's uh, feed and poo some water, and he's just rocket, rocket, rocket. Oh, yeah. And I could see how that naming convention would get confusing, but I guess if you can just con console it all into, like, A, B, and C, then the names might not matter as much. Uh, it may not matter to some people. To me, it would confuse the heck out of me. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Uh, one time for a meme, I named all my kids Jeff, and, you know, you can see where this goes. You bought a lot of bottle rockets? <laughs> and only one Jeff could use them. Speaking of Jeff, uh, we haven't seen really any Jeff items, have we? Yeah, I've been noticing that in a lot of recent seeds that I've played is not really getting a lot of Jeff items. Yeah, and that carrot key is going to give Chargles his third sank. Well, he's got the first three keys. Uh, he's going for free health care. Ah, don't blame him. Sometimes you just gotta do what you gotta do. It looks like Nano's going to grab herself a bit of some return mice. Now I wonder if she'll also set hers right outside the door. Uh, if we have a request from the comms team, please stop saying cornbone in chat. I can't take it. <laughs> Chargles heading, <laughs> taking the long bus to Foreside there. And with that, he'll be getting dusty dunes and more opportunities. Right now, I think he's just putting off uh, character key because he's wanting that last sank access, and I, I don't blame him, frank frankly. Yeah. Nano yeah, picking up that, uh, hopefully, superfluous Hawkeye. Now, I have to wonder, if you're in uh, Chargill's place here, where do you go next for your next check? We've got Deserts open, and we've got uh, Moonside open. You also have uh, Sewers, which is going to give you another key item. Yeah, I would probably go straight to the Sewers to get that key item, and then maybe go explore Moonside, because it's, you know, right there. And it seems that Charles is going to be going to the cafe. Going to have a little coffee and go to the moonside. 
Yeah, this is kind of what we talked about in our last race. Um, some people just have this uh, predilection to want to get all the sinks and then knock them out all in order, which it's not necessarily a bad thing to do. It pretty much means you can't use a hitman because they do prioritize those. Um, yeah. Otherwise, the hitmen do work for what the logic expects you to do next. Right. Yeah, I would definitely... Saving all the sinks is not a bad play, but having... Or knowing that the sewers is going to have a key item, then I would shoot for that. Because you never know. It might just be the... Uh, the item that you need for the last sink. Jake Tomar in chat has said, I believe that he's added Cornbone as an official PK Scramble generate food item. Thank you, Jake yes. Tomar. And shout outs to Deputy Dangle for mentioning the Cornbone. Is the steed still going? <laughs> uh, Charging Charles uh, going to Moonside, picking up, uh, going to go fight uh, the Moonside boss here. And let's see what's in the food. Can brain food, that is another one of the brain food variants. Now, those I don't know as well as the repels, because they can make a difference, though, as we saw in, uh, I, not IQ's, Andy's race, uh, where he bought a bunch of the frozen dessert brain foods. And they, they actually really carry. And depending on the variation of these food items, they're either, you know, stronger or, or less powerful than their vanilla counterparts. For example, like, I think the durian actually gives you more repel time than a normal repel sandwich. I, I believe so. I remember recently uh, doing a practice seat, and I think I got the burger, and it said something like 21 seconds. Yeah, absolutely. And Chargo's finding the slimy little pile over here. That's not going to give him too much trouble, presumably. Meanwhile, Nano is uh, playing a little catch-up and going to Onet and getting those items. Oh, and Jay Tomar just said it's random. And I have an idea for our next flag set, uh, next round. Pink Panther, if you're listening, how about a uh, Doc Saturn seed with extended PSI shuffle and 100% not randomized? <laughs> that would be race for the ages. I guess for everybody who knows vanilla pretty well, it's going to do well. Charging Char Chargles getting a wad of bills for his... Uh, dedication to the Moonside Gambit. It's nothing like a big wad of bills that you don't have any use for. You can't even sell them. It's, a, it's burning in his pocket and he can't even spend it. I mean, I guess he could, but logically. I mean, isn't helping the Runaway 5 uh, out its own reward. I would say you'd be right. Those guys, they've been playing for years. You know, got to help some, some brothers out. And I'm surprised neither racer has even looked at desert. Uh, as we saw in some of our exhibition matches that can prove to be disastrous. Yeah. Looks like we got a couple of taxi cars. And it looks like we're going to have car painter. And this is third sank. So that means that uh, Kerki is probably second. I would imagine. And yeah. um, where's the fourth, do you think? Ooh, based off the logic they have. I mean, it could very well be the key to the shack. Um, or it could force them to take the Scaraba or Deep Darkness route. That's true. Uh, they're going to get a key item at the end of 
signed banana route. That key item could open up two sinks immediately for them. One of them being uh, the key to the shack, like you said, or a pencil eraser actually would as well. And honestly, actually, there's three. It could be bubble gum. Yeah. So I'm going to be very excited if it's not one of those three items. <laughs> and it looks like we're going to be going to the Monotoli building. All right, Monotoli building is a long ways away. So we got time in chat to say who is going to be at that kit jack. Now, we already have Pooh and Jeff, which means it has to be Paula. It asks, you have to be dying for flying or you have to be ready for Teddy. How about you, uh, Unknown? What do you think? I think, I think I'm ready for Teddy. You know, I, I think I'm praying for Paula. Let's get a, let's get a four kid squad. We haven't had one this tournament yet, I don't think. And Static Pulse in chat says, I'm Morbin for Mulls. It looks like uh, Chargles has the same mindset as you. He's going to check that mine. Thank you, Chargles. And ready for Teddy, uh, DJ Skull's room is um, one of the quote-unquote kids you can get, kid checks, is just a teddy bear. Ooh, I miss what the Mole Cave item was. Durian Kimchi on Chargill's side. He has found the repel. Oh, and Key to the Shack seems to be in the mines. That's going to be for Sank. He is in go mode as soon as he cleans it up a little bit. I guess we'll see if Nanobite takes the bait and goes to Monotoli building or if she decides to go check out Mole Cave. I believe that she has all the same sink access that Chargles does. Right. Because he's got Milky Well, he's got Key to the Shack, so he's got Giant Step now. Pink Cloud, and Magnet Hill. Yeah, I, I believe so. Oh. And it looks like she's going to be going for Monotoli. Honestly, if I hadn't checked the desert, I might as well. I might have as well, because it yeah. does seem like the logic is kind of pointed towards. Yeah, or no, you're not wrong there. Absolutely. Because that, that would probably be a play that I would take, because my brain would instantly be like, ooh, free kid, so let's go do that. And Nano truly is running up that hill. Running up that building? Uh, that, that was a pretty good one. I, I liked it. Uh, unrelated notes, see me after stream. <laughs> and it looks like there might be some overpowered enemies, some moonside enemies here in the Monotoli building. That should be a clue um, to Nano. If she remembers that it's progressive enemies and she has a struggle with the ones here, maybe, you know, thinking, oh, this is bad vibes. I might be in the wrong neighborhood. And I've gotten better myself about knowing to, you know, just let's not come here. Let's let's revisit this. Yeah, and Chargles is making his way towards the mines, picking up some money first. Uh, I think he's going to stock up on repels for the final uh, walk. I mean, who wouldn't? If you if you had knew where they were and had access to repels, yeah. And honestly, this this shop that he checked is one that not a lot of people do. And I I have found more often than not in a Doc Saturn seed, it has some pretty good stuff on it. Yeah, I am guilty of not ever checking that shop.
and it seems that Nano's has made it, and hopefully she can dodge this last scripted fight. All right. She's not going to have a tough time with the Guardian General here. He's uh, something of a, a joke. Yeah. Although, when you're already weakened from the enemies in a tough area, you know, you, you still have to be careful. Yeah. Oof. I think this is going to be a death for Nano. Yep. I believe so. Oh, you hate to see it. It's sometimes when you see it coming, you just let it happen. And let's see if that's going to convince Nano to rethink the strategy here. Because, uh... oh, we're going to see a dumb meme over on Nano's side. <laughs> this is a meme. Classic. No. Classic. Classic. Classic meme shenanigans. Oh, I'm sorry. This is a meme? <laughs> Which could, in fact, be its own meme if you're only used to the vanilla uh, Tony call, in which he asks you for the player's name and not a dumb meme. Although right. I, I prefer giving dumb meme anyway. Oh, yeah. It's great, you know, when you're at the end fighting Gygus and, you know, you just see the dumb meme. Looks like one rocket is enough to uh, take out those Starman Juniors. Oh, yeah. In the mines. And he actually finds another rappel to make up for the one he just used in the present right behind. And an okay pendant. It looks like the RNG is in his favor. Oof, we got Nano going to Evil Manny Manny. Um, I think at this point she should be okay. She's already got a sink under her belt. But... Um, we already know it's kind of not the way you want to go. Yeah, she's just going to get the moot item. And that can happen uh, in these seeds. You know, it starts off uh, super linear, or sometimes it doesn't. And when the seed breaks open, you have all these options. It's really hard to tell where you need to go and to read the logic. And um, oh, you yeah. know, sometimes, sometimes you read it right, and sometimes you forget how to read. I have a, a bad habit of... Um... Doing the fifth sanctuary, usually. <laughs> that can be, <laughs> that can happen. And you know, sometimes, de depending on the the right kind of logic, it can be faster to to go outside of logic and pick up that fifth sank. Oh yeah, I've I've seen uh, cases where the fourth sank was behind a wall of the fifth sank. Chargill's putting in his classic meme. That is an acronym. It means a super scramble. Yes. And I think it is. How about you? It, It's a great super scramble on the super series. Oop, getting caught by that picture. Time to save Fuzzy Pickles. Chargill's heading to that last sanctuary with all the uh, repels that he's picked up and, uh, you know, the fights that he's won here. I don't imagine him having too much trouble, although we are seeing those moonside enemies and some tendas outside the door. Let's see if he checks uh, with the... He does. And gets another okay pendant. You know, that's it's not the best pendant, but... It's, it's okay. okay. Oh no, Nano uh, heading into Moonside, and we already know that that's a lot of bills. Yeah, another wrong way. I think this is a classic case of 
forgetting that the mines exist. Which it's easy to do, especially when you have, like, especially when you just unlock Dusty Dunes and you unlock Foreside, and then you just have a ton of checks in Foreside. You've got that, that, uh, the banana, and right after that you get the, the yogurt dispenser. You know, you're thinking, what else am I missing? I, I need to check Moonside. Right. And then by the time you do all that, you know, you're not even thinking about the desert anymore. Trojan Age Sprout is not one you want to see later on in the seed. It yeah. uh, it just scales up so well in in levels, and it and the reason that is is it I believe besides like Gigas or something like that, it has the most varied attacks out of any boss type enemy. Really? Although that rocket's gonna put it down. Yeah, yeah. It can. It it's got the googly eyes. It's got flash. It can do shield, and it comes with two assistants who are gonna be scaled to whatever area it's in. It can be pretty nasty pretty fast. Yeah, I have noticed that getting Trillian Age in the end, or you know, further along in the logic, he's not a not a happy camper. And with this fourth sank, we are taking submissions for Ness's nightmare spot. Who is the final boss of this race going to be? Go ahead and put your answers in chat. Unknown, what are you thinking? I'm thinking thinking who did we have last time was it no it wasn't pokey was it yeah it was heavily armed pokey yeah i think i'm gonna go with heavily armed pokey you're gonna go for the double down the double i'm gonna double down on it we got uh, a couple of oh go ahead yeah i was gonna say we got a couple of uh doggos yeah i got some good guesses in chat uh attacks like says everdread j tomar and static pulse say uh doggo guessing dog uh, Pink Panther saying, come on, man and woman's best friend, Diamond Dog. You guys are some cruel, cruel chatters. That That's just mean. Yeah. Personally, Do I'm banking on Electro Spectre, so that rocket's not as good. Oh, yeah, that, that'd put a damper on things. And me, personally, I am not a fan of Diamond Dog. I'm I'm a dog person. I'm not a Diamond Dog person. I've always said that um, I'm glad, like, in a classic scramble seed, you can't see Hot Dog there at the end with Gygus. But uh, he, he may be man's best friend, but he can be a little tough. So I'm not a huge fan of him either. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Uh, is Clumsy available? I'm not sure. I, I think it might have been last stream we saw Clumsy and not this one. But I'm getting the LC bleed. Tack, tack suck, slug saying shroom. I'm gonna go with Mike. Oh no, we saw Kraken. I usually say Kraken. Do we see Thunder and Storm? I don't think we do. I don't think we've seen Thunder and Storm either. I'm gonna say Thunder and Storm. <laughs> Jay Tomar and Chad saying, Did you know that Diamond Dog and. By the way, G Tomer is the creator of this PK Scramble uh, randomizer for Earthbound, so he knows what he's talking about. Did you know that Diamond Dog isn't naturally that difficult of a boss? Its difficulty is actually inflated by the De Beers Diamond Dog Monopoly. <laughs> and those are facts, just. It's the truth, facts. so listen. We got Nano going through the desert, finally going around to the mole caves. And that is the third counter PSI unit that uh, Turgles has found. Some crazy RNG. It's an item for Jeff. At least give him one, Chargles. We've got Boogie Tent here in the Sea of Eden. Mm-hmm.
Oh, we got a memory mouse, return mouse. That's a good spot. And it is Plague Rat of Doom on the pedestal. I don't think anyone said that one. Yeah. Big old poison rat. Uh, with the uh, PSI rocket, it shouldn't be too bad. Oh, yeah. That's going to be a GG for Charging Charles. Indeed. Moving on to the next round. Hello, Charging Charles. Hi, everybody. GG. How do yeah, you feel about that seed? You know... That was it was a rough seed it was not my best performance i guess um i struggled with return mouse usage my biggest thing i thought at the end uh, i was teleporting away from desert to, uh, the mines there and i thought to myself i should leave my return mouse there last minute it's like i could return mouse out and all of that so i i tried to quick run into a cactus at the end and i teleported away anyways which then meant I only did have to teleport back to the desert to get back to the mines and do the walk. But then when I was done with the mines, I couldn't just mouse out of the mines. So it's probably a two-ish minute loss, but I thought I'd put the extra mouse to use as a safety mouse. Or Mr. Mouse at the end. <laughs> mouse v. <laughs> mouse. Otherwise, um, I mean, Rocket Beta made things uh, nice. I thought there was just a lack of experience points early on. I thought the Boogie Tent Nightmare, um, which I barely scraped through that fight, and then to get I think a shared 300 experience each I thought was total baloney. So Tolmar, you have to fix that. <laughs> um, just, yeah, a lot of early fights, just I thought I did, barely got by and just didn't feel like the reward was very good either. I thought uh, it would be a nice, nice boost, but having an early rocket bait obviously helps. Oh, for yeah. sure, for sure. But a lot of those early fights that you struggled with, uh, you didn't need to take. Uh, which ones? Like the Nightmare? Uh, Boogie Tent, yeah, for sure. And then I think Boogie you Tent had dropped a... the meteorite. Oh yeah, which was a Saturn Valley teleport in the end. But uh, you know, when I mean, you have Jeff that early, and it's either you know, go to Saturn Valley and do the fly honey, or check the tent. Like you're probably gonna check the tent first as well. Oh, for sure. Yeah. Oh yeah. And I don't, I don't doubt that in the logic, but uh, that could have something to do with it. It might have been scaled a little higher because the logic was like, well, you're not really supposed to do this. Yeah, it could have been, but like I said the experience points didn't fit that piece so True. i thought yeah the reward made it seem like it was scaled lower than it was i think um the arcade fights which i think were worthwhile because i was assigned banana um, yeah for mus sure mushroom poo was incredibly clutch on that one. Oh yeah yeah absolutely. that was a that was a wild fight you got pretty lucky with that that mastermise and i think learning freeze beta before the captain strong fight was also pretty important and then poo managed to drink his water instead of uh, mushrooming it everywhere so it was, that was, uh, you know, it was a couple close calls, a um, couple, couple bungled fights. Uh, Tucson was a whole lot of shouldn't be here right now uh, <laughs> with the department store spook. He was very spooky. Yeah, I believe we said uh, that's uh, some bad vibes. You got to get out of that neighborhood. Oh, yep. yeah. Yeah, got to gotta run from that fight. I think um, Moonset ended up being a dead check as well. It got to a point where there was, I could check Apple Kid. Teleport to a net and check Perkle or the library, or I could go check the mines, or I could go to Moonside, or I could go to the Sign Banana. So I had like one point of kind of six six paths to go down. I yeah. think I did Onet, and then I went to Forestside, and I saved Desert for last. And I was looking for was that that last piece, and I figured it would be a uh, a key to the shack just because it'd be the simplest one in logic. Right. But of course, it was the the, the last of those five options I went to. That's true, and uh, unfortunately on Nano's side, uh, she did pretty, something pretty similar in holding off on checking those mines. Unfortunately, she didn't check them until after she did Monotola building. Oh, picked up Paula probably, or was it uh, ready for Teddy or dying for flying? Uh, she didn't make it, actually. Uh, oh. Yeah. And I mean, it, it, it was out of scale and kind of a low PP and low HP seed, so everyone was kind of getting their butt kicked all the time. Yeah, and she ended up going because she'd forgot about 
boogie tent at the beginning. So she ended up going back and then getting caught in that trap of moot points of going places. Yep. Where is, uh, where is Nano Asp? I could, I could pull up the stream. Uh, she is doing mines currently, and honestly, until those huge divergences, in terms of uh, following the logic, she was pretty lockstep with you. Yeah, okay. for, for a while, y'all were neck and neck. Yeah, there, there wasn't a lot of opportunity for the divergence. I kind of felt like we'd be having early bubblegum or, or back of bubblegum or early, um, what you call it, the other one for the desert, hieroglyph copy. And Scarba. Yeah, and um, did uh, did Nanos find the Durian Kimchi at all or not? I don't believe that she did. Yeah, that's my that's my own fear when I can't uh, find any any repel items and when like I found a Durian in a treasure chest or a gift box somewhere. It's that kind of told me all right. It's either in Scaraba, which I I don't think I ever went to check, but then it uh, I just thought that vendor outside the desert occasionally sells repel, so I thought I'd check there as well. So that was fortunate to see that. Yeah, the, we were saying uh, on the stream there that uh, that's not a vendor that a ton of people check, and uh, I usually do, and, and you can usually find some good things like repels and stuff. Yeah, that, uh, so that was, a, that was a, a friendly one. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Are you going to uh, continue your uh, personal seed after this, or you think you're going to call it for a night? Yeah, I'm probably... Oh, that's a good question. I'm probably going to call it for the night. Um, I, well, I don't know. I'll probably continue. I'll give it another half hour. So I got a few uh, open-ended things. I think I got to run through a deep darkness and see what that, those double nightmares, if I could take them. Now, I forgot that that was kind of a, an opportunity. I don't remember if I had the shyness book or not. I mean, the, the the vision for the rest of the seed is there. I'm just going to get those last three, four sanks down. Gotcha. Okay, well, I think we're going to finish up watching uh, Nano finish this one, so feel free to stay, or if you need to go, that as well. I'm going to stick around. Why All right. not? I've changed my mind. You're not welcome. Please leave. <laughs> oh, you're the, you're the, you got the mod powers, and I know you're not going to hesitate to use them. Uh, I can't do it to you, Charging Charles. At least not in public. <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll say that to our, our private life. <laughs> We've got Nano going to DeLong. Nano, Nano did pick up a durian in there. Big firebomb. See, that's with a, with a Jeff Seed and extended PSI. I know a lot of people love that with all the, uh, the wonderful gadgets he gets. I, uh, I don't know what half of them do, so I'm always afraid to use them. That can be a worry. I, I think it's pretty interesting what you can find there. And um, speaking of Jeff items, I saw you pick up three counter PSI units. I did. And again, just uh, towards the end, I had a little bit of a um, disorganized rage and I just started throwing everything to the ground. Um, no, no, no R menu switches could go to the person I wanted to and everyone was full of everything. And it, was a, it was a disaster. So they all had to go. I agree. Does yeah, Nano... Same thing going on now, except the slow butterfly. Oof. I always hate running into butterflies like that. Or when you get confident that they fly away from you and then they loop back around and... Gotcha. Pink, uh, pink clouds one where I just, you know, the repels are so nice to have. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I think it's just, even the, the basic repels, you know, two of them get you through. I think with 17 seconds, if you just book it from immediately walking in, yeah, uh, you might be able to make it in one repel here. Yeah, especially with those uh, fast ropes like we have now. They're so fast. Oh, yeah. They're so fast. That was, that was one of the good things that Tolmar did to us. <laughs> what are some of the bad things if you don't mind sharing he knows what he's done <laughs> I see well unfortunately really everything, really everything about Pokey's choice unfortunately uh, you were racing at the time but um, unknown do you want to clue him in onto the change that he made mid race 
Oh yeah. Oh, um, for some reason, we got on the subject of corn, and somebody in the chat brought up the corn bone, and uh, there's a new food item called the corn bone. Corn bone. Um, what is a corn bone? Uh, I, I believe it's the cob. <laughs> you know, it's it's the corn on the cob. Corn on the bone, I corn, guess. Corn, corn on, on the, the bone. bone. So Nano's got uh, four say or three settings down and has the key. Okay, head in the key of the shack. So if all goes well, uh, Nano should be pulling in at about hour 10. Yeah, she should be. Yeah, that should be her last well. thing. You never know whether the, the lack of repels, how the uh, the cave or the red cave in Magicant's going to go. Yeah. It can be tough. The uh, the canned brain food uh, was useful this time around. I think I picked up a handful of those in Moonside. Yeah, that we, that was another one of the like kind of scaling items similar to the repel sandwiches that generate food does is it changes the type of brain food as well. Yeah, those picked up a couple of almost almost red squirrels. Uh with that pick up the with the, the despawn attempt, especially with the presence, they come right at you. Uh we've got a uh Ryan Zyman chat asking, is this an earthbound randomizer? It is an earthbound randomizer. It's the PK scramble, which scrambles all the key items and teleports within logic. Um, it's kind of like a game of, uh, shoot. What are those collections? You good, game of good game of earthbound and a scavenger hunt. Yeah, so it basically randomizes any NPCs or spots where you get a key item in Earthbound, say the key to the shack or the pencil eraser. Those can be any key item in the game. And and there has been a couple added just for logic consistency's sake. So you're going to use those key items that you find to unlock different areas of the map. And with this randomizer, uh, on the race percent, which is what we're running right now, or the Dr. Saturn percent, you try to get to four sinks and then either be Gygus or be Magic Hand. Yeah. And then, uh, Ryan, you might be thinking about the uh, the ancient cave where it takes every single room of the game and makes a a, a chain of various dead ends or not. And yeah. You run through all various floors. Is there a link for PK Scramble? Boy, I'm glad. Glad yes. So, uh, I don't want to put it. I don't know if we can uh, shameless self promote. Uh, so yeah, we can. We're allowed to do that. Yeah. If, well, then do you throw a link to the Discord in there as well and say one of us, one of us? Uh, I believe there's a link to the Discord on the PK Scramble website. Yeah, if you like Ancient Cave, you're probably going to love PK Scramble. Yes, if you like and... Ancient Cave, what the hell is wrong with you? <laughs> <laughs> and there is a link to the Discord, the Earthbound Speedruns Discord, which includes these randomizers, PK Scramble and Ancient Cave, and the current tournament uh, updates uh, that we're running right now, which is the Night Pending Cup. On the Discord, if you go to the About section on the PK Scramble website that I linked, you'll find a link to that Discord. For the record, I wasn't paid to ask J. Tomar. Yeah, we, we don't <laughs> need a screen name. <laughs> it's a the Panther only needed two of the rocket betas to get through there. I think I have like four or so. I don't know. My, uh, my trillionage was a few low rolls, I, I, I recall. Maybe your uh, poo was just slow. I got a, it's a pretty slow poo. Or should I say Ness? Yeah, that, that threw me off a little bit when it was telling who picked up what item. <laughs> we were talking about that, too. It was an ancient cave. Uh, one round of the tournament, I named all my people the same thing. Yeah, the, the, uh, woes, the woes of naming all your characters the same thing. Yeah. I was telling Ness Rocker that for me, I named all my characters Jeff, and I got highly confused. Yeah, that, that does tend to happen. Uh, but, uh, Chargill, since you won this round, I think you deserve a, a little special treat. Oh, lay it on me, buddy. 
Tournament Charlie. That's me. And just, time. and how about just a couple more air horns? Well earned. Well earned. Oh, we got Nano visiting Saturn Valley. Probably going to the store. Yeah, checking that third Saturn shop, which opens up after you've completed your requisite sync number. In this case, it's going to be four. And um, I, did, I only got a quick glance at it. It didn't seem like... No, fire hmm. pendant and... Uh, so I mean, knowing... Knowing what we know now, I don't think it's usually none of those things end up actually being all that relevant. Yeah. Although I In guess it case, will. Obviously not. But, um, let's see. You can just most see it's the. It'll the add that. Just kind of there. A few recovery items might be worthwhile, but um, in terms of items, it's always something that's skewed towards. Ha ha! It doesn't actually help you. Yeah, I mean, although the flame pendant will add a little bit of defense, regardless. Of its use to stop fire. Especially if you're low level. Unless I'm wrong on that. Confident commentary as usual there, I know. <laughs> I believe it's this way, but I could be completely mistaken. What game are we playing? Uh, when does Mario come in? Yeah, where where is Mario? I have seen Nary a Yoshi in this entire scene. Seeds, what is this? Harvest Moon? And we have uh <laughs> match winner charging Charles trying to stop it right on the one second, I believe. Oh no. <laughs> we got bigger plans. Speaking of corn bone, we got spicy corn water in the chat. Oh, we didn't have to bring attention to that, did we? It, but uh, great comment. Is Zelda going to come save the princess? I'm not sure, but we're all hoping. So has it been changed? Because... I never actually go visit Ness or get that other present when I come to Magicant. And I've noticed that, at least in this flag set, the in Onet, the baseball hat has been changed to the bat. And I'm curious if that's the case here, where you would normally get the baseball cap, but instead you've been given the T-Rex bat. Yes, for sure. So, um... PK Scramble for a while was just randomizing all the present items that you got, but uh, G Tomer actually did an update, I want to say earlier this year, where all the NPCs that give you items are randomized as well. So, like you said, the guy who gives you Mr. Baseball Cap is going to give you another item that I believe it's going to take into account the area scaling. So if it's really high level, it's going to be something really good, and it's going to tend towards a Ness-related item. Okay. Same thing with, um, you know, other NPCs that give you stuff. So, like, the guy you return the contacts to, I think it's going to scale, and it's going to be a status-affecting item, or, or like, whatever category that dirty uh, gym socks fall under. Interesting. Okay, yeah. I definitely will be more apt to hitting up those areas. Like. Yeah, for sure. So, uh, basically, we saw on Targle's side, right after he did the um, key to the shack, he turned around to talk to one of those traveling entertainers, and they gave him an okay pendant. Yeah, if, you, if, if they were on mid-game, it's usually an okay pendant. It's early logic, kind of traveler, and great charm, and um, just saves you a thousand bucks. Yeah. He can also tell you if you're checking the seat early, or you picked up a loose key item of a key to the shack, it can kind of give you an indicator, well, how scaled is this? If he gives you, like, an earth pendant, you're going to be like, I better come back later. Yeah, I definitely have picked up on that. Because I came into the scramble scene as a casual player and learning all these little tricks to just help 
knock off that second here and there. Very helpful. And I think, like me, Nanobite's probably a more casual player. Beginning and then going to disappear for a couple weeks and is a uh, come back. And so, you know, it's, it's good to have just active. You know, we fill a bracket of 16 people for a, a relatively niche game. Um, it's, it's nice. Yeah. It, it was a well turnout. Um, we didn't expect many at first. And, you know, to have this many at least join in is, you know, it's like, oh boy, like we're doing this. But yeah, there's a flame pen that's coming in, coming in handy now for Nanobite. Yeah. Yeah, those Master Criminal Worms are no joke, but they are going to give her a lot of XP. I think I saw 1,100,000. Oh, wow. Well, let's... Well, she's got the rat to fight, so... Um, let's see if she can do this solo. Unless she's got some... Healing items. Uh, looks like she does have some healing items. I see a bean nugget and some almond butter bags. Oof, she couldn't dodge that boogie tent. Uh, Rocky12799 in chat, who is uh, Nanobyte's partner, I believe, says she wants to be more competitive. We are working uh, on both getting faster. Had my first sub-hour standard Doc Saturn today. Congratulations, Rocky. And yeah, nice. I think we're all... I'll try to get better. Yeah, absolutely. Um, and that's a huge accomplishment. Because after seeing the way the more vanilla, or, you know, original, people who were originally vanilla speedrunners, um, just seeing the way they blast through this sometimes is just amazing. Like last night, or earlier, when uh, Tomar got, what was it, 32 minutes? That was... <laughs> that was insane. In fact, that was insane. 32. And I remember the, the logic just kind of fell together. Um, but not only that, he read it correctly and did all the right things in all the right ways, pretty much. Yeah, like um, in the in the co-op tournament, Slamfax and I had a I was like 28 and he was 30 minutes and change. Like when they're fast and everything falls in, they're fat, they're short sayings, quick checks. It's just it's kismet. Yeah. Um, otherwise, uh, sure. Take uh, take a while if they give you just. A lot, of, a lot of options, or hey, you're going to South Winters, or have to do the pyramid plus deep darkness and flying man. Uh, that they can, yeah, they can really just get nuts. Yeah, and shoot, I even remember doing my first run and getting sub two hours, and I was like, oh man, that's probably a bad time. And everybody was like, that's you know really good for your first time. And, and then, uh, oh, sorry, go ahead. Oh, and then I forgot that had Saturn Valley. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Unfortunately for Nana, it looks like she took a death here um, uh, versus Rat Solo. Uh, let's see if she's going to continue this. Like, uh, you know, forfeit. At least it's in the race time room. Ah, uh, okay. Oh, Still, GG, good effort. Just some some bad luck uh, there, unfortunately, there, Nano. And good luck to you in the future, Charging Charles. GG on your win. And good luck to Nano on her continued uh, next race. Yeah. Uh, um, which is going yeah, to be... Uh, we'll, we'll see a lot of different a lot of different uh, outcomes in there. There's, there's obviously ripe for, for upsets here and there. And yeah. Nano knows the game and knows the routing, and it just uh, these things could come together for... We're going Abs to take a win or two along the way. Absolutely. Yeah. I'm excited for the Manny Manny bracket um, just to see all those people come back together and one one evil Manny Manny to rule them all. Yeah. yeah should, it, I mean, kind of the farther it goes along, you know, we should be we should be seeing closer and closer races as well, just as the whole you know, seeds, seeds wind down and then the higher seeds get kind of reshuffled in with some higher seeds. Yeah. And in terms of uh, tournament standings, Charging Charles, you're going to go on to face the winner of Pink Panther versus Mad Cats. And Nano will... I don't
don't have the other one up. Um, I can pull it up real quick. Nana would play the. I don't know how the uh, the the lovers bracket is set up. Yeah. Um, I can tell you in just a second. Uh, not sure on that one, but in terms of our next races, while we're looking on an answer for that, we've got... No, we already did that one today. We've got oh. McGurk versus Attack Slug on Monday, uh, 6.13 at 9 p.m. Central Time. That's going to be tomorrow at 9 p.m. Central Time. And Pink Panther versus Mad Cats the following day at 6.14 uh 9 p.m as well central time yeah um well it looks like there are no other contenders right now for both charles and nano so i guess we'll have to see uh, the losers the text log in chat says nano will play either mad cat or panther depending on who uh wins against uh charles yeah I'm gonna hop out. I got some some Pokey's choice to get my rear end kicked by. Take care, Charles. I think Nano's gonna pop in and give us some post race commentary. No, I'll stick around for that. Then we'll, we'll we'll chat and see what their reactions are with it all. Hello, Nano. GG. Although a solemn one. Uh, had some bad luck there. It seems like. Yeah, it was it was a rough seed for sure. Um, I just I just was feeling clumsy as I was going along too. Just kind of one of those. Just one of those seeds, I guess. You know what I'm saying? What I always say is uh, when you're feeling clumsy, you know, just eat you a bologna sandwich, recharge your batteries. <laughs> well, I was eating some chicken biryanis and it uh, wasn't, wasn't doing the trick, apparently. Uh, I see. <laughs> it's been a bit of a day. We lost power for like 45 minutes earlier tonight, like right when I was trying to get ready. And yeah, just I think I was. Just... Oh, yeah. Yeah. Go ahead. Uh, you you go ahead, Anna. Um, I was just piggybacking off of uh, what she was saying. I didn't have anything to say, really. Can you mute Nano's stream, please? Yeah, I already have. Okay. Uh, yeah, it's uh, it has been kind of a rough time for you, and that that seed was a little rough. Honestly, for the first half of the seed, you were kind of uh, as I was telling Chargles in lockstep. It was it was real neck and neck. Unfortunately, a couple of uh, Bad luck and, and some routing decisions kind of held you back. You did skip that boogie tent, which wasn't necessary, and Moonside. Um, I but... did go back and do boogie later. Um, yeah. But yeah. I did. I tried Monotoli building, and that just absolutely killed me. Oh, yeah. I... Yeah, that, uh, that desert, uh, I believe, uh, was one that kind of slipped you up there. A little bit. A little bit. It's tempting when you got uh, that rocket beta to just you know use that loosey goosey, but Pooh was low PP, and so you had to kind of be be wise with that. It was convenient to think that uh, you know Starman right. just died to one of them. Yep. But then it came down to having the right PP. Uh, yeah, it was X. it was that balance. Yeah, that was just it yeah. definitely ate it up. So that was that was rough, <laughs> absolutely rough. Rough like a carbon dog. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> But honestly, I, I thought you did uh, a great job with the tools that you had available to you, and it, it was a good race. Oh, oh yeah. Overall. I mean, I felt like a little sluggish at times, but overall, like the beginning especially felt really smooth, other than the fact that we already had Summer's Teleport, but I did UFO anyway, but, you know. <laughs> I'm going to apologize for this, but sluggish like an attack slug? <laughs> oh, no. Shots oh. fired. She, she just keeps putting them on a T. <laughs> I don't know what you know, I'm supposed to do with it. Slugs might have a retort to that. <laughs> <laughs> she might have something to say. <laughs> but, it can yeah. also it can also be a little rough uh, with this specific flag set for this round to generate food when you just can't find those dang old repels. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. I think we only it got like th two or three durians total um, out of presence, but never did find yeah. the shops. They, uh, I found some durian kimchi at the vendor outside the mines so that food cart oh there. shoot yeah and that's when i hardly ever remember to check yeah yeah yep. me either when i picked up a, a durian from a present i knew it had to be kind of one of those oddball like at least no more burger shops no more uh, right. right bakeries right. yeah 
Yep, yep. Indeed. Yeah, they, they were they were scarce. If I had found those, it probably would have been a little bit different story, but yeah, it's all good. Yeah, and when the seed opens up like that and you have so many choices, it can be a little much just trying to figure out where to go. Oh, definitely, definitely. Yeah, and um, yeah, we were we were saying on comms. Um, basically, it's like, well, she may come to regret skipping that boogie tent, and then Chargles turned it in. It was teleport to Saturn Valley, and right. we were like, yeah, <laughs> time yeah, save. Yeah, I did go back and do it, but I did it when it was like super easy. I didn't lose that much time from it. So yeah, I guess it was. I guess it was okay, but yeah, I I still did it and still lost the time too. But. <laughs> And apologies if my dogs are getting up. They're growling at each other behind me. Being oh, oh, yeah. <laughs> no can't problems. hear anything. No problems. And uh, I but just want to say... Charles, Charles, I mean, you did just amazing. That was yeah, thank you. It was, uh, yeah, there's there some ups and downs around, along the seed. Um, as long as you didn't uh, fight uh, apartments are spook and tooth and you didn't have a bad time there. No, it was, uh, no, I it didn't was do not, that. It was not good there. Oh, God. <laughs> yeah, no. no, I got murdered in Monotoli building, so I never went back over there. Murdered in Monotoli. I like the ring of that. That, that yeah. sounds like a, an in-world, like, novel for that for that universe. Yeah, it sounds like a noir novel or something. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I was thinking, like, a video game punk band. Ooh, yeah. yeah oh, cool. yeah. But, um... All right, GG's to both racers. Uh, we were discussing earlier before you got here that uh, Chargles is going to go on to play the winner of uh, either Mad Cats or Panther, and then you will play the nice. other opponent in excellent. your next race. Excellent, excellent. When do they race? Um, uh, to, uh, they race on Monday at 9 p.m. Central. Sorry, Tuesday at 9 p.m. Central. Excellent. So looking forward to that, looking forward to that. And um, hey, great job, everybody all around. Unknown, you want to take us out? Oh, yeah. Um, I'd like to say thanks, everybody, for participating in the tournament. Um, been a great turnout. Everybody's been great. And thanks to everybody who's helped us set this up and, of course, joined and watch. And as always, yeah, bye. Gonna, uh, yes, thank you, everybody. Thanks, Unknown. Have a great night, everyone. Good night. Bye. Have a wonderful time.